Hi, I'm State Representative Mindy Fee of the 37th District, and today we're going to take a tour of Trop Gun. It's located in the 37th District. They're at a brand new facility, and uh, they're a small business that is growing and being strong. So I'm going to be joined by Phil Groff, who's a member of the executive team. Come on in, Phil. Hi, good morning. Hi, thanks for joining Absolutely. me today and giving us a tour of the facility. Can you give me a little bit of background on Trop? Absolutely. Trop Gun Shop has been in existence as a uh, firearms retailer since 1961. We moved into this facility, a new 32,000 square foot retail range and club facility in October of last year. Oh, it's so exciting. Absolutely. And the owner is David Dunn? That's correct. Um, how many employees are here? We currently employ 84 people within the Trop Gun Shop. Um, seven of those are at an off-site manufacturing facility in Adamstown. So we have about 78, 79 that work here at this facility. And has that grown in the recent years? It has. It's, it's, our workforce has tripled um, since our expansion. S moving into this new facility, we've greatly increased the number of, of folks that we've employed. That's fantastic. Can you tell me a little bit about the skills that you need when you're hiring workers at this location? Sure. What we look for in a, in a TROP associate that works in any of our divisions, whether it be the retail floor, or the range, warehousing, we look for folks with strong customer service backgrounds. We really, really make a, a strong, passionate move to hire veterans. So we have about a third of our entire staff are veterans, um, anywhere from gentlemen and ladies and gentlemen that left the military service 20, 25 years ago to folks that just recently separated. Oh, that's fantastic. I'll tell you, I'm a big proponent of my veterans and uh, always have a lot of uh, uh, outreach programs for them. So I know you from uh, from being in the Mannheim Borough from our police force and, yes. and you've changed now. So can you give us a little bit about your background, Phil? I have. My background, I worked, uh, I was a Marine for four years and then I left the Marine Corps and became a police officer. And I worked in, in Mannheim and worked in local law enforcement for about 14 years. And through that time, I always had a passion for the firearms industry and, and teaching and instructing. Uh, was involved in some training businesses through that and that that segued into the position I have now here at TROP. Oh that's wonderful. Well we, we hated to lose you in Mannheim but we're glad you're here because I know you've done a lot of training across the county and uh, it's very important to do that here also. But I'd like to take a tour of the facility if you don't sure mind so where are we going to head to first? Absolutely why don't we head over and take a look at our gun line. Okay perfect thanks. So we're here on the retail floor and there's so much going on around me. Can you go over a little bit of what inventory uh, you handle here at TROP? Sure, absolutely. We have uh, a full spread of everything you could uh, want or need for the shooting sports industry. Uh, the area we're in now, we're kind of at the apex of our what we call our gun line. Okay. It's where we store all of our, our long guns, our rifles and shotguns behind the counter and all of our handguns and, and a lot of the different accessories we have up front. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, we have over a thousand guns that we have on display here between handguns and, and rifles. Uh, large number, we have optics, pretty much all the things that would be firearm related that would bolt directly to a firearm. Much of that's located in this area here, set up like a big L shape. Okay. And then the rest of the retail floor, we include accessories, holsters, magazines, uh, reloading equipment, apparel, just about anything you can really think of for the shooting sports, but we're in what we call the gun line area here. Okay, and tell me a little bit about the demographics. Who comes in to your store? Absolutely. Um, you know, we really get a, a great spread. We have uh, a, a large amount of traffic that comes in. The weekends here, we get folks coming from the local area, but far as way as Maryland, New Jersey, New York. Yeah, that's great. Uh, so you're really, really from really all different spread. areas. We're really working on becoming a destination retailer. Um, we see that on the weekends, but during the week it's mo mostly a local crowd. Uh, but as we talk about the folks that come into the shop here, a lot of people you know, may have some misconceptions about who comes into a gun shop and, mm -hmm. and who buys guns. And what we're seeing is a, a large increase in a lot of folks coming into the shooting sports now that, that weren't necessarily in it before, didn't grow up in a hunting environment or a, a home that had guns. But we're seeing lots and lots of people come in now as first time gun buyers. And a lot more women, I'm sure. A lot more <laughs> women. One of the fastest growing areas of our market has been the female shooters. And, you know, before, you know, a lot of times women, not to say that women didn't purchase guns before right. and didn't shoot, they did, but we're really starting to see that as, as they come in more and, and buying handguns in, in increasing numbers and, and one of our most um, aggressive growth areas and we're really super excited about it. Matter of fact, we uh, we just started a charter of a, of a women's shooting club called A Girl and a Gun. Oh, so that's great. So we're gonna be, be putting on that. It's a, a chance for women to come in and be part of a, a social group. So 
they come in, they shoot, they get a chance to socialize with one another and, and do so in a safe and a fun environment. Well, that's great. And, it's, and you know, women aren't just thinking about, you know, the hunters, because a lot of women hunt, but for protection anymore. Yeah, what we're seeing is we see a lot of folks coming in now, and, and our most common, when we speak with them and we have an interaction and make a, a purchase, particularly if it's a handgun, which is now the most popular um, sales, that's our highest volume of sales we're coming in by handguns. Are the handguns. Absolutely. And the handgun market, as they come in, they're looking for protection, but increasingly we're seeing women come in. Um, the market was always hunting and, and protection, and folks in general, women in particular, right. would do that. But right. we're expanding now. We're seeing a lot of women come in for sport. They're getting involved in the competitive aspects, whether that's action pistol, whether that's trap, um, whether that's three-gun competitions. They're coming in, and they're shooting, and they're competing, and they're coming in in a, a social way. And in a, a really cool dynamic shift, we sometimes see women come in and have husbands or boyfriends that aren't shooters and they bring them, them in, in and they bring them in and it's kind of a, a backward That's situation. Great. We see that more and more often. It's well, really and it's great. a lot of fun as a sport. I just had, I was involved with a trap shoot and it was great fun. Tell me if you are, say, a first time buyer or, you know, maybe not, the process of buying a gun when you okay. come in. The process to purchase a firearm, um, we come in and there's some, some background check. For, for any of the purchases made here at the store, we come in and we have some paperwork that's filled out um, and the forms are completed. And all that's doing is, is checking that you are a person that is legally authorized to purchase that firearm. Um, so you're not a, a prohibited person that's, right. that's not prohibited to purchase a firearm. Um, and then really what we do is we work with that person. One of our- So you, I'm, I'm gonna no. interrupt real quick. Do you do that before you even start to look at the guns? No, or? we, we okay. allow them, we, we allow a process. Um, you know, there's checks and balances in our staff. We, we spend a lot of time training our staff in ways to identify if there's a, an illegal purchase being attempted to be made, a straw purchase. Okay, okay. Um, so we involve in a, in a very, we like to, to compare it somewhat to a car buying process and that we'll show you uh, the merchandise, talk with them. And if a person comes in and doesn't have a lot of background and, and is a little bit nervous or concerned, we have some first time buyer programs that allow a, a training component to be added into where we talk to them and we teach them how to make an educated decision, how to be safe before we even sell them the firearm. Yeah, that's great. Well, we, and I know we're going to the training program and I can't wait to touch on that also. What we do then, they come in, they would look at the, the firearm. Our sales staff would, would work with them to figure out what best suits their needs, what they're looking for in that, that purchase. Um, work them through their paperwork, they need valid government ID, and then we work through, we contact the, the National Criminal Check System, okay. so into the, we have the, the picks and the next checks, and that gets uh, entered into a computer system, which then returns a, a verified and a, um, an approved or disapproved or a pending check, and that's, that's the system that allows us to perform what's everyone refers to as a background check. Right, as a background check. Correct. How do you feel about Pennsylvania as a state for buying guns? Um, Pennsylvania does a, a great job and, and um, you know we're fortunate in this state that, that we've had strong support of the Second Amendment uh, mm -hmm. both through the legislature and, and um, a very strong tradition in this state and, and you see a lot of, of organizations that, that have very strong support for the Second Amendment and, and we're happy in that you know we, we, we tell everyone that we deal with to, to be active and stay active in their, their rights and, and, and continuing to, to reach out to their lawmakers to voice their support to not let the the voices that, that are negative always be the ones that are heard. Absolutely. Well, and in the 37th district, we are big Second Amendment folks. I know I know we talked about training, but there's also a video room. Just can you touch on that for me a little bit? Absolutely. We have a uh, we have a video game room. So what we did there is we understood, and, and as crazy as it sounds to have a video game room, we have two 80-inch televisions, some video game chairs, and we have um, RFID controlled access to that room. So. We allow mm. parents that, that can come in, or adults, we get some adults <laughs> that come in and play games. We understand that the people come into the shooting sports community now are coming from a variety of different places, including video gamers. So we offer the ability to let them experience the video games that they play at home. They can then come in and shoot the exact real guns on our range. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my son would love that. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, it's, it's worked out really well for us because as, as we see kids come in, Parents can come in and, and they can sign their kids up. They can get them a controller at our at our registers, um, make sure everything's appropriate and they're okay with the games they're going to play. And they can actually go into that room and, and be secure in that room. So it's kind and of they a can understand uh, kind of like a process of like it a, really, like uh, an ability for them to to be secure and and enjoy themselves to just have it be a place where the entire family feels welcome and, and can have some fun. You know, the best thing that we look at is we want, you know kids to come to their parents and and you know I know when my kids were little they never wanted to go to the gun store because I didn't let them touch anything sure and they were along for the ride now they if we get the kids that say mom and dad I want to go to trop well and I believe in education in a safe environment mm -hmm. I mean and that's what you do here it's great yeah. 
I just while we're in this area, can you tell me one more thing? Is there any new technologies out there with guns that are up and coming, or that that the folks may want to know about? Yeah, I mean, there's we, we there's constantly changes in the the gun industry and, and new things coming along. Um, probably one of the coolest products that we're looking at at bringing in is is some of the advanced electronics. A company called Tracking Point, which is a computer controlled optic system hmm. um, basically lets a, a new shooter not have to know anything they, they can very seamlessly use this system and and make hits at very very long ranges um, for hunting or sport so they can and use them in hunting and they can absolutely they can use them in hunting it's a, a, a cool technology but there's a lot of different things as well um, what we're seeing now in the industry and the advances in the industry and the firearms industry is a, a push towards modularity and customizable so it's not a I buy a rifle anymore we, we call them adult Lego sets that's really what they are you buy that that you rifle or that handgun it. and you can really do one of a thousand different things to it and we can do most of that we carry the products here and we carry the support here in our gunsmithing and armoring service I was gonna say one of the unique things about TROP is you have a whole gunsmithing service we do and that is mainly to customize a gun and to yeah. make it fit the person correct we do and we have we have a gunsmithing department and our, and our guys are capable of basic level maintenance and armoring so so things like we're talking about the customizing and they can also do we've got some very talented guys that are really artists with firearms and and can do some really cool things to a firearm we also have a manufacturing division and we're producing our own firearms under that that company called legendary arms works legendary arms works yeah it's based in adamstown as well but it's part of our business and and an interesting side note to that is the first incorporated Rifle Works in the United States was located in Lancaster County, and we're bringing that back. We're bringing rifle manufacturing back to Lancaster County. So we started here, and we're now bringing it. I a think rifle that's fantastic. Back. I yeah, love that. Really looking forward to that project. Perfect, perfect. So where are we going to head to next? I think next we're going to check out our indoor range. Perfect, perfect. We're going to take a short break, so uh, we'll be back with you in a moment. Are we connected on Facebook? It's easy to add my legislative news and community updates to your news feed. My page is at facebook.com slash rep fee. Once you're there, make sure to hit like and we'll be connected. I give you updates from Harrisburg, talk about what's happening in our community, and try to feature lots of photos of the great people in the district that I get the privilege to meet. But it's also a forum where you can share your viewpoints with me. Facebook really is a great way to keep in touch. Again, my page is at facebook.com slash Once you're there, hit like and we'll be connected. Hope to see you online. So we're in the state-of-the-art uh, training facility, which I got to tell you is really incredible when you're actually standing here. Uh, Give me a little background on how this came to be. So this is um, our indoor range. It's a 12 lane, uh, fully climate controlled, uh, open to the public, indoor shooting range. And the reason that as we moved into our new facility here and we expanded, one of our key, our, our key components and, and really one of the, the cornerstones of our business is to, to participate in what we call lifestyle retail. And that ability to not only make your purchase, but also use your purchase and, and be around like-minded folks. And a range was really a key component to that. So we wanted to seek out a facility that we were able to build an indoor range mm -hmm. to let folks have a, a safe, clean, comfortable area that they could come and shoot. Uh, in addition to making their firearms purchase, they could enjoy their firearms purchase. Right, so that really right. was what drove the design and, and the desire to, to build a range like this. And this is a very environmental, environmental friendly uh, can you go into that one yeah, a little sure bit? Is. Um, our range is set up that we don't have any, you know, a lot of your outdoor ranges is, as ranges that have been classically sportsmen's clubs out in, in town and, sure. and outdoor ranges as, as lead issues and, and lead contamination and groundwater contamination issues. Um, as those come in and in indoor ranges, you see airborne, pollu airborne contamination levels, lead and, and different things that, that come into play. We really wanted to focus this range to be clean, environmentally friendly, so everything that a shooter does or is exposed to on our facility, everything is captured. And that goes from the, the lead of the bullets that are fired, they're captured in a, in a clean manner and recycled the brass from the casings of the, fire, of the ammunition. That's also collected and recycled. Um, the air handling system is heavily filtered so that none of the pollutants enter the atmosphere mm -hmm. and we can keep a clean, safe environment, not only for our shooters, because right. we really want that, you, know, you don't want to have that that smell and, and you don't want smoke in a, a dark, dingy environment. We really want to have a clean, bright, 
safe place for them to shoot. But then and it also, is. It's very yeah. bright. And then it also extends off the facility so that we don't have any lead contamination issues. So everything is, is handled here in-house. And, and the staff that's here to help. Um, you know, if I'm here and I'm, I'm trying to do some practice, how do they interact and who's on staff? So we really made a commitment to have a, a very well-staffed range facility. We don't, you know, let you come in to shoot or, or rent you a gun and, and kind of turn you loose. And if you don't really know what you're doing or you're uncomfortable, mm -hmm. kind of look at you and say, well, good luck and yeah. hopefully it all works out for you. We have a, a dedicated range staff. Uh, the large majority of them are, are veterans and, and we recruited them specifically for their skills and abilities, not only just to to understand firearms, but to be able to teach and pass that information on. Um, we staff at a higher level than a lot of ranges, so we have, a we have folks out on the line with shooters that are able to answer questions and direct them and make a safe environment for everybody. And the public can come in, so is there an age range or? Yeah, absolutely, we are open to the public. Um, our age range is we start at eight years old, so we allow a, a child with their parent or guardian at eight to come in and, and utilize the facility. We allow up to two people on a lane unless they're minor children, then there can be two minor children and an adult okay. within each lane. Um, and then also our law enforcement, and they come in and practice here, correct? Yeah, sure do. We're, we're happy to have a lot of our, our law enforcement professionals at a local, state, and federal level. We have folks come down from Harrisburg offices, federal offices, to come down and train and shoot. You know, we really, we offer them an open environment somewhere they can come. And in July, it's not 95 degrees and humid, and in January, it's not sure. 17 and snowing. It's always a, a nice, even 75 and... and clean fluorescent light here. Perfect, perfect. And the computer technology is really something. Can you show us a little bit on yeah, how sure it can. works? So our entire system, we have a Medjet um, target retrieval system. It's all computerized and everything works um, within the computer controlled target retrieval systems. No one has to go down line. So all of our shooters can remain right here where they are in their individual shooting bay. They're inside ballistic. This is um, ballistic partitions that would protect any, any negligent discharges or errant rounds that would be fired mm -hmm. and they can come in and control their system and they're able to move their targets from anywhere from three yards to 19 yards three yards being their minimum out to 19 and it's really simple and intuitive it's running off of a touchpad so they simply can come in enter in a couple of keystrokes which we can help them out with and if they have any problems and then send their target down and really the targets are, are multifaceted our law enforcement officers and, and even folks who are coming in to train with their concealed carrier responsible home defense and things like that. They have the ability to, to run some different programs and all kinds of options, turning and give them hmm. some decision-making ability. Really tough to do in a range that doesn't Absolutely. have this type of technology. You had just mentioned something that uh, is very near and dear to me. I actually hold concealed carry permit classes. Um, there's more than those than ever before uh, being at, uh, at the courthouse being uh, given out. So. I know I had you in on one of my concealed carry permit classes to try and help teach, educate. I'm all about educating people. Um, I know it's you know it's such a, such a simple thing to go down to the courthouse, get a concealed carry permit. I want you to be educated with it. Uh, you hold many classes here. Can we you do. can you go over a little bit about those? Yeah, part of I, I mentioned briefly before our lifestyle retail concept, and and part of what we do in that lifestyle is is education and training, and we feel really passionate about giving back to the community in that way. So we hold classes. Um, you know, the basic, the very beginning of our, our educational system, and, and we hold those classes through a division of the company called the TROP Institute. Okay. And the very basis of that is what we call our firearm safety and familiarization class. It's a class we hold um, a couple times a week, and it's completely free to the community. There's no charge whatsoever. Um, and that's basically a, a gun safety, a firearm safety, and a understanding how responsible firearms ownership and what to do if... You know, we have kids come into that class, we have adults, but that's a free class. And then from there, we really break into, you know, we have an overall course catalog right now of approximately 20 different classes expanding here in the next couple of months, probably up to the neighborhood of 35 to 40 different classes that range everywhere from very basic instruction with any type of firearm, handgun, rifle, mm -hmm. all the way through some advanced level training that you would see police officers, um, defensive type training, concealed carry folks, you know, we have some low light classes. One of the great things about an indoor range is we can control the lighting situation. So many of the defensive situations that occur, occur in low light. So we're able to train and do that. And really every class in between, firearms classes. We also have a whole series of classes that don't involve shooting. So if you have folks that aren't comfortable with that, we have, uh, yesterday we just held a family emergency planning class. So oh, how to establish great. family emergency plans. Um, you know, we have reloading classes, we have workshops on all different kinds of things that, that folks would want to be involved in, uh, things that, that 
they may do or, or be associated around the firearm industry that don't always necessarily involve a gun. You are really a one-stop shop. I'll tell you, you we cover do. everything here. Absolutely, that's our goal. Yeah, um, and you know what I what I also love is that when you walk in, if you're a novice at buying a gun, you know the fact that you do have that advantage where you can come over here, you can try out different guns. Sure. You can. know because to look at it from across the counter is not the same as you know yeah, shooting we, it. And we have a very specific program designed just for that. We call it our primer program. And what that program is designed to do, it's a training program, but also it gives a whole bunch of range benefits to our shooters. That's designed for someone who comes in, it's never owned a handgun before. And we work through with them. We, we give them an educational component. We give them some benefits and some range time, rentals and a little bit of ammunition. And, and in a sense, a test drive, an ability to test drive a firearm, get them into that, that right firearm and make them responsible, safe gun handlers from the very beginning. That's great. Real quickly, can you just touch on your professional shooting background? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy, you know, as part of uh, my job here at TROP, it's, it's really tough and somebody has to do it. I get a chance to compete, so, and, and I have a, some sponsorship through the business, and I get a chance, matter of fact, I'll be leaving uh, tomorrow morning to go to Erie to, to shoot a regional match. So I compete in IDPA, USPSA, and 3-Gun. So I'm just, just uh, thrilled, and I get a chance oh, to travel around great. the country and, and shoot matches and, uh, and do the best that I can and, uh, and have a great time with it. I'm sure they're proud of you here. Well, I wish you much luck on that one. Thank you. Uh, and where are we heading to next? I think we're going to go up and check out our club now. Oh, perfect. Awesome. So we're in the club, which is, it's contemporary, it's sleek, it's absolutely beautiful, uh, this area of the Trop Gun. What do you use this area for? So the club area is um, just an extension, again, of, of building that lifestyle. And, and this is our space and our ability to give folks within the shooting sports and, and people that are coming into our, our facility here, the ability to socialize and to use this space for things that wouldn't necessarily traditionally be considered firearms or gun shop related. Mm -hmm. So we have an ability to rent this space to businesses, other small businesses for meetings and team building exercises, um, sales meetings with their staff. We can rent this for events. Uh, we utilize it internally for employee nights. We hold a monthly employee get together, you know, we hold a movie night and, and do things for our employees and we encourage other businesses and, and we rent this space out. It really is, it, it's, uh, it's a, a great area that we can it's absolutely socialize beautiful. and be together. Thank it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So, uh, so the public can, if they have a, you know, a 50th anniversary party, you can come and rent it. Uh, do you serve food here or do you go outside for local caterers and? We, we do, we have a lo whole lot of different options. So we rent the space again, we have business rentals and that can be anything from hourly rental. It could be a realtor or an attorney or anything like that that needs a space that they can sit with a client for an hour, two hours, mm -hmm. all the way up to, we can rent the facility up to 55 seats. Um, we can have occupancy a little bit higher than that, but we have 50 seating for 55. Okay. We do business package rentals, we also do those party rentals, and anyone can come in and do that um, and, and really in, enjoy the space and, and use it for whatever they see fit. So when I came in, there was a beautiful deck outside and, 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 and coming into the building was, I mean, into this location was a whole experience. Can you, can you tell our folks about that? Oh, absolutely, I'd love to. So some of the features that we have in the club, I mentioned we have seating for 55, and that seating is a mix of tables, restaurant style booths. We have a, a, a coffee bar that, that you're, you're able to sit at. Uh, all the different aspects, some comfortable seating. We have eight big screen TVs that are all independently networked into um, cable accounts so we can watch different programs. We can watch the same program. They're all smart TVs so we can run presentations. We have a cigar deck. Uh, we have a TV out there to watch the game and enjoy a cigar and to get into the space. So we have the ability within you know, some of our safety and security controls. So we have a pretty neat feature that we have uh, a biometric and a facial recognition scanner that allows you access into the club. It's like I was stepping forward in time. It is so neat. <laughs> Yeah, that's really what we were going for, you know, that modern feel, you know, giving some, some thoughts and some elements to the, the stonework and the, the granite and the stone that you see in the wood floors in certain areas, but also give that real modern industrial feel like the rest of our facility. Absolutely. And I, I know a lot of businesses, I've been uh, invited to many, you know, they have their golf outings. This is a great alternative to it. So can you tie in, if you rent uh, the area up here, can you go down to the shooting range and tie in a package that way? Yeah, you sure can. And we have that all built into our, our different packages and our different rental options that we allow. You can, 
you can come in and, and just like you said, that's a great analogy. You know, talk about a business golf outing or a golf trip or a sales meeting that you're going to do. We allow you to come in. You can use our space. We also have a, a separate uh, conference room, which you can teleconference, has seating for 10 at the conference table and a large conference, uh, conference monitor. But you can also add the range to that. So you can come in and instead of hitting the links, you can come down and hit the range. And we offer full packages. We rent guns, we can sell them ammunition, hearing and eye protection, really the, the entire program. Yeah, and the image of what you think a gun shop is, this is not it. I mean, it is really quite incredible. I mean, it's the whole package. That's what I keep saying over and over today. Yeah, yeah really what we're, we're trying to, to accomplish is to just educate folks that, that the gun shop in this, this particular place in TROP is not your traditional what people think of. It's not, you know, the wood paneling and the, and the mounts and the taxidermy. And, and I'm a hunter. I love all that stuff as well. Sure. But we really want to appeal to a broad audience. And we still have those folks that come in. But really give that space a, a common term in the industry that we're starting to hear used more and more is, is the country club phenomenon. So we're like a country club, just involving firearms. So that's really the feel we're going for, to attract a broader audience and make it a comfortable space for everyone. There's not that stigma that, that's attached to an old hunting lodge. That's sure. not what this place is. Sure. Well, let's go back to the uh, shop and we can wrap it up from there. Sure, sounds good. So we're in the, another section of the retail store, a lot of ammo's in here, but you not only just had the retail store, you have a whole e-commerce division. We do, and, and standing here in front of the ammunition and some of our ammunition components that we sell, um, you know, we have an, an e-commerce and it runs through our, our website, tropgun.com, and we do quite a bit of sales through that internet um, e-commerce solution, and most of what we sell is ammunition, and we're selling that ammunition nationwide. Oh, I was going to say, the, throughout the entire states. Absolutely, that's packing and shipping from, from Elizabethtown here, and that's going everywhere from California to Texas to Florida, really all over the country, and, and we have a, a great division and a dedicated group of employees that, that run that, that part of the company for us, and, and something where we continue to look at expanding and, and utilizing even more. I love it. Uh, so ammo is tough to get these days, and is that what you said? Yeah, ammunition is really becoming almost like a commodity, and, and learning about the availability and, and some folks and some phenomenon through some different political events and, and cycles of, of uh, things that happen in the country have caused people to consume ammunition differently. They're shooting more, they're saving, and, and I hate to use the word hoarding, but that's really what they're doing. Mm. So that's created a supply and demand um, disequilibrium, and, and really where we're seeing it in, in some of that product uh, it's a challenge to keep up with the market, but we do our best to keep our shelves stocked and, and make things available online. Well, that's perfect. And I know um, I, when we were upstairs, I saw a gym that was strictly for your employees. You treat your employees wonderful. And as a small business, uh, to retain your workforce is a very important uh, aspect of it. Tell me some of the things you love about being an employee of Trop Gun. Yeah, you know, I really love, we, we try and foster that family atmosphere here, and we do a lot of different things for our employees and we, we try to, to to compensate them well and give them a whole host of benefits that allow them to feel like they're part of something bigger and be part of the family and, and really invest in, in what we have going on and it's created a really low, for retail we have uh, significantly lower turnover than, than a lot of our, our retail competitors both within the firearms industry and also outside of that and we're really super proud of that fact that we're able to recruit some quality folks and then keep them and, and do things like family uh, employee nights. We hold a monthly employee night here. We have movie nights. We do things for um, our employees and, and to really foster that familiar relationship with them and, and make great. them part of the team. Well, and that's what small businesses are about. I mean, we were founded on them, our country, and we want to continue to grow. Thanks, Phil. I appreciate you taking the time. I, I feel uh, so thrilled that Trop Gun is in the 37th district. I mean, it's a great company. So thanks, Phil. Absolutely. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming out. You bet. Thank you. That's all the time we have today. I appreciate you taking a minute to join us on Legislative Report. You can always uh, contact us with any questions on uh, Facebook, on our website, or in the district office. You have a great day. Mm -hmm.